Hello everyone and welcome back to Model Hobbies. Um, this is obviously my next project. I know my last one was a plane and I said before that that I was going to be doing a tank but I wanted to build that model and now I shall be doing a tank. This is by Mhar, if that's how you say it. A Mark A Whippet World War One medium tank from 1918. This particular model, the EM4003, was made and released in 1996, I think. Let me double check that. Yes, that was a good guess. Um, 135th scale. And it's a nice looking tank. I thought that this tank was a British tank, but I am probably completely wrong. So, it says here, alternative decals. And when you look this tank up, um, it actually says British tank. And it was designed by Sir William Triton of Foster & Co as a pursuit tank. Um, a Mark A medium tank nicknamed Whippet commenced in October 1917, first used in battle on March 26, 1918, during the Great German Offensive. They are most memorable for their role in the Battle of Amiens on August 8, 1918. Had a crew of three or four accommodated at the rear. The crew of three or four was accommodated at the rear with twin engines in front, each driving a set of tracks for its own gearbox and transmission, an armoured fuel tank projected forward between the front horns. Homs. I can't read. But yeah, I thought that this was a British tank and the fact that you can put German decals on it is a bit odd, so I am not sure. And the decals that come with the kit, I believe, are German but I thought that this was a British one so if you know please let me know um, here it is here I want to build that one and that one I want all of these on here they all look pretty cool so if anyone's got any of these models and want to give them to me I'll be greatly appreciative especially that one that looks pretty cool but anyway, let's open this up and we shall see what we got. Box art is pretty nice, just shows you the tank. Um, nice colours. For 1996, which is, what, for 24, 26 years ago, the box is in reasonably good condition. And the kit is in reasonably good condition. I have opened this up and had a look. You've got rubber tracks, which is pretty good, all nice and bendy. All that there, there's my tracks. Got all the rivets on the tank. Um, the panel lining is raised, which is a pain because you cannot put panel liner in it. It's, raised, it's uh, lowered around the door and the hatches, I think, so that's all right, apart from that one right there. Excuse my dirty fingernails, I've been at work today. Not a lot to this model, so again, shouldn't take too long. Okay, a bit of detail. And um, you've got all the parts on the side of the tracks this time. Instead of having to build them, you've got a couple of little cogs and things like that there all in all not too much which is what I like to see so hopefully this shouldn't take too long here in the decals so you've got German decals common markings I don't know is that the British common markings I don't know. Anyone in the comments who can let me know, please let me know. I'm going to do these ones. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to do these ones. 
Um, well, maybe I should do the German, maybe. It looks quite nice with the German markings. Maybe I'll do the German ones. Yeah, I'm going to do the German ones. I'm going to do the German ones. So there are your markings. Uh, Firefly, that looks quite nice. I like that, I like that. Um, here are your instructions, which don't seem very thick for a couple of pages. Not even that. So, a lot of numbers around the edge of these marking, uh, around the edge of these instructions, what they mean, we shall find out. And this bit on the back, so here are your markings, uh, C, I'm guessing we'll do that, maybe, here are the colours, so the lines are that one, FS10118, absolutely no idea what that is. And it doesn't tell you either, so we shall have to look that up. <clears throat> and obviously it's that tank on there but I don't know what that means or what colour that could possibly be it's got a bit, so there's three, all three different colours on that one whereas this one is all one colour which is very tempting maybe I will just do all one colour I shall see when I come to it, but um, yeah, this isn't going to be a very big build at all. Um, nice quick video, hopefully. There are literally nine panels of instructions, and most of that is just putting the wheels together. So, it should be a nice quick model, so that will give me more time to do some detail work, um, I'll put some chippings and I'll put some rust and I'll put some other little bits on it. All in all, should be a nice little fun project, this one. I'm looking forward to it. Haven't done a tank for a while, for a long time I don't think. Not since my little tanks in my earlier videos, if you want to check them out I'll leave a link in the description that probably won't get clicked, but I'll do it anyway. So yeah, I shall start on this little beauty. I will give it a good spray first. Um, a bit of grey primer, I think. But yeah, should be a nice little project this one. So I shall get on with that.
Right, well that's this one done. Um, took me a bit longer than it should have done as I got COVID halfway through this one and I'm still quite ill from it. Uh, it made me terribly ill but yeah this is um, tank done. I wanted it to look used, dirty and rusty which kind of looks like it. It's not great. The decals were terrible, probably the worst decals I've ever actually come across. They were far too big, they didn't fit on the tank itself. These ones didn't fit so I thought I'd hand paint them and that one there. Um, yeah, it's just a little simple model, not too hard. Bit more practice of just weathering stuff really and seeing what effects I could make. So, But yeah, it looks dirty to me. And, and nice and used so yeah it's just a quick little video of this one so thanks for watching this one guys and um, please like and subscribe and all that stuff that would uh, mean a lot and we'll see you guys on the next one cheers bye